fam, fam, fam. We are down to three days left of the giveaway. Three days, three. See that? One, two, three. Three days left. This giveaway's over. You could be winning this truck or my brand new 2018 Laramie Longhorn Mega Cab 3500. Beautiful, beautiful plush interior. But we're going to be driving this truck today just to switch it up and not to mention I just cleaned my truck. I know this one's clean because I cleaned this one when I drove it last. Um, but my new truck, I just cleaned it and it is hard to keep it clean. Um, and this truck, I figured if I drive it, it's not going to get too dirty because I'm not going far. But we're going to go take a stop over at our property and reintroduce some trucks that we have not seen in a little while. What is up loud and proud crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. So yes, we're gonna be driving this truck today. Now, the only dilemma is I don't have anybody with me, so I can't film while I'm driving. I can film a startup, but I can't film while I'm shifting through gears and holding the steering wheel and all that stuff. I can't hold a camera. So um, can't get a ride along in the cab, but you can definitely hear the truck start up again. And I will give you some feedback on how nice it's been driving since it sat for a couple months. It shouldn't, it shouldn't do anything. Well, a couple months, more like, six weeks, not really a couple months, but um, we did start it up recently, but it's been another, I wanna say week or two since I ran it last. Um, so it's gonna be, it's gonna, she's gonna be a little bit cold. It's been really, really cold out the last few days in the 20s, and uh, she's probably gonna give us a little bit of attitude, but no big deal. And then we're gonna go see the King Ranch, and we've seen that truck recently kind of in the background of a video, but not really. Um, just another real quick little video around that, and then also we're gonna bring back the Nasty Red. We're gonna try to get the Nasty Red on video a little bit. Don't know how much we can get with it, but I'm gonna at least show you the truck again and kind of get my dad's feedback on how he's been liking driving it with the airbags and the flatbed and all that stuff because he's been working on that thing a lot lately um, and you guys just haven't seen the truck in months. So I, I would really just love to bring that truck back a little bit so you guys can get an update on it because I get people asking all the time, what happened to Nasty Red? Do you guys still have the truck? Do you guys sell the truck? Where's it at? Is it in the shop? So all that type of stuff. So we're gonna get to doing that right now. Let's start this girl up. Let's get this girl started up. <laughs> Boys. She gave a little attitude. Nothing much though. Just a little smoky after sitting. But listen to her purr, man. She runs good. Super clean truck. But I gotta turn my daytime lights off, but she runs real good. I'm probably going to take this truck over to the wash around the corner once I leave and clean it again. It was clean when I just left the house, but for this particular truck, I wanna make sure all the salt and dirt is kept off of it because it's just it's just too clean. I'd hate to hate to take it home and not wash it and then it sits a couple weeks, you know what I mean? With salt on it. So well, here's the King Ranch. And everybody's always making comments about how our trucks are dirty. Look at the driveway. I mean, you just can't keep them clean. Because this truck was real clean about two days ago. This truck's got all kinds of work done to it. Nothing crazy but all your basic stuff. Awesome. Now let's go take a peek at Nasty Red. Joshua said he might sell his. He's thinking about selling it. He but should not sell it into anybody but me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you see this, Joshua, only to him, and he'll give, he'll make you a really low offer. <laughs> I'll make you an offer that I can't refuse. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just thought I'd come over and show him Nasty Red because it's been a long time, and I get a lot of questions asking where the heck it's at and if we still have it. Because it's been about two months probably since it's been on video. It's dirty. Start, well, any truck that goes down this driveway, I told him it was going to get dirty. Well, if you found my Instagram page, if you haven't already, you got to check it out. But I do post some tr pictures of Nasty Red, just pulling some small loads and stuff. I have gotten a couple loads with the Gator trailer, but it's just um, lighter stuff. 
-hmm. But I'll tell you one thing I do love about this truck is the freaking flatbed. I was going to say flatbed. Getting loads of drywall, OSB board, hooking up the gooseneck, there's nothing better. If there's anybody out there that likes second gens, flatbeds. So oh, I had nasty. somebody the other day on my Facebook page tell me to take this thing off. Uh, of, the of the front of this, which we have an LMP, of course, license plate holder or license uh, piece I'm gonna put on there. But I did not realize this until just a little while ago. This little thing, the older gentleman who uh, we bought this off of basically had this and it's a step to get up on. <laughs> basically, I, step on it. <laughs> I don't know if I trust it either, but nonetheless, I thought that was interesting. It was never, innovative for everybody. I never <laughs> seen anything like that before, but I tell you what though, if you have to get up there for something real quick, that's a good idea. How much have you driven last year? I, could drive, I drive it pretty much every week to Menard, so it's not too far, but yeah. I like it a lot. I can't help but want to play with it. I don't. <laughs> no burnouts, but I do like driving a lot. Because I keep forgetting that Pretty much everything's done, power and mechanically in terms of transmission and other yeah. than everything. The only thing we got to finish that we haven't yet is put the gauges on. We got the stuff. And traction bars. And traction. I mean, there's more. There's more stuff that we could do, but um, at least sound enough to drive in, not. Have oh to yeah, worry it's about totally good with that. Way. I mean, it makes a big difference with the front end rebuilt and the brakes on it from what it was oh, yeah. before that. Yeah. But overall, I do love driving this thing. That shop's built a few front ends for us. Yeah. They know what they're doing. Yeah. But I will say though, when you're when you're driving it, pulling a trailer, like down Coliseum up by the Fort Wayne. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, <laughs> it smokes like crazy. Like during certain there's certain spots in the in the throttling, but it just smokes like crazy. Which some people look at you like, and then you just smoke. What the heck's wrong? You just you? smoke more of that. Get you off the death tank on that thing in a massive exhaust. <laughs> But yeah, the flatbed with these airbags on here, it's a, uh, I never realized, it's one of those things you never realize how much you liked it until you got it. Yeah. Maybe I should flatbed the King Ranch. <laughs> yeah. not. You'd have to put a nicer flatbed on it. I just, yeah. just, oh, yeah. just no, I, I would never do that one at that one. Yeah, no. one. I thought about at one point doing that with uh, the 7.3, but probably not going to happen. Yeah, you can use it for tanning too. <laughs> <laughs> Throw lawn chairs on it out in the summer. <laughs> Yeah, because I can. Because totally, I do that all the time. Because you do that all the time. <laughs> Actually, we should show the compound system because there's a lot of people that are new subscribers within the last 15,000 subscribers that have, might have never seen this compound system. <laughs> Not a whole lot of light here, but yeah, there's there's what we got. New terminal. I forgot about all the little stuff that maximum overdrive did. Oh, the yeah, new battery right. terminals and all kinds yeah. of little stuff. How did they get ruined? <laughs> <laughs> Joshua. <laughs> no. Was it you? No, that was me. Uh, Joshua has a different story for that one with his <laughs> yeah. own truck. Yeah. yeah. No, that was, he was touching a wrench and then putting his knee on the metal part of the bumper going, <laughs> man, it sends a jolt right through you. He was having too much fun with that. But no, I, um, basically when I was doing head studs, <laughs> I can say it now because it's way long past, but back in a video once I was doing head studs on this truck and I was doing this head stud actually right here and it, it, it had just hit the torque spec, right? I just got it down to the torque spec. And what I had done, because we didn't have the compound turbo system in there yet, but I had the, <laughs> the, the um, torque wrench and right when I tightened it and it just clicked, I was going to take it off and I was wiggling it back and forth to, to get it off the stud. And I stuck the back of the handle on this post to that and it just like it, shattered it basically like exploded the the um terminal on that post so this truck now really original miles has what 151,000 something like that yeah 150 151 and so basically around that 150 mark is when we redid everything push rods head studs <clears throat> push rods head studs valve, valve springs <coughs> valve cover gaskets it's <coughs> kdp <coughs> tabbed <coughs> and compound turbo kit 120 horse injectors i mean just all that crap everything she runs good. Yeah, does run good. It's already got a little bit of dirt on it, but what can you do? Turned out pretty good though. Just got all the dust and dirt off of it from the dust from sitting and then the dirt from just um, 
going up and down the driveway right there. I wanted to clean it as soon as I got it on. And in case there was any salt on there from the roads, because it was pretty bad recently and a lot of salt was going down. Remember, if you guys want a chance to win this truck or my brand new 2018, I'll show you in just a second. Um, information down in the description below. If you go to this website, team-lnp.myshopify.com, every $15 you spend is another entry to win. And on that topic, also keep in mind that I pay to cover the cost to get the vehicle to you, whether I ship it to you or you have to fly out and drive it back. I pay for the cost to come get it. So, you know, whatever it costs you, diesel and fuel and, you know, food, whatever, I pay those bills to make sure the truck gets back to you free of cost in terms of transportation and stuff like that. Or let's say you're in California, you're in Florida, you're wherever, far away. Don't worry about it. If you need a fly out, like I said, I pay for that stuff. You need it shipped, I'll ship it to you, no cost to you. Um, but yeah, anyways, information down below, and you can enter as many times as you want. You spend 15, it's an entry, you spend 30, you spend two, you get two. You spend 45, you get three, so on and so forth. The more you spend, the more entries you get. So here's my dad's first gen. I've got another first gen, in case you're uh, new to the channel. I do have another first gen, that's just my nicer one of the two. And then here's the 2018. Beautiful truck, we just cleaned this up the other day. Of course, it's got the, well, I guess it's on my key in on me, but it's got the beautiful Longhorn interior. It's the Mega Cab. Beautiful truck. Guys, thank you so much. Hopefully you enjoyed the update on Nasty Red in the King Ranch. If you guys have not done so yet, please leave a like on this video. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team. Join the family. Enter the giveaway. It is ending rapidly. We've got, I think, three days left. Do not miss out. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.